Welcome back, everyone. I hope you guys had a great Christmas break, even better than New Year's. Before I start my presentation, I'd like to ask you a question. What did these three institutions have in common? The Soviet Union, Rome, and King Louis XVI, when he was the King of France. Well, all these institutions failed because they didn't understand the market economy and they didn't change with it. I want to bring up a quote. Your success in life isn't based on your ability to simply change. It's based on your ability to change faster, your competition, customers, and business. This is by Mark Sandberg, who's one of the best motivational speakers in the country. So, the topic of today's discussion is, upper management has called upon our division to spearhead the move from the commercial insurance sector to the home insurance sector. So the agenda of today's discussion is, First, I'll talk about why we need to move into the home insurance market. Then, I'll give you steps on how we're going to infiltrate this market. And lastly, how this directly relates to you through financial incentives. And also, I want you to have pride in this company. So I'll give you a few, a few things on that. First, why we need to change. Our sales are down. This has led to a 20% uh, decrease because our clients are not re renewing their insurance policies because they're deciding to self-insure, which has created um, a better financial incentive for them, cut out the middleman, which is us, um, and it's better to the bottom line, which has caused a 20% decrease in sales, which has led to a $300 million loss for Great American. Let me repeat that, $300 million loss. So why should we move to the home insurance sector? Well, it's a virtually untapped market. This is because people don't think about um, insurance when it comes to their house, because they don't understand the risk associated with owning a home, such as fire, burglary, even um, floods, per se. So they decide not to insure their home. So this is where we come in. And secondly, the profit margins are higher in the home insurance sector because the risk of damages is lower. Because well, unlike with commercial lines, we don't have to deal with worker compensation claims. We don't have to deal with hazardous materials. And also, our in-house psychologist said that people act much better and less risky in their house because of the personal value they have in their house compared to if, when they're at work. So, how are we going to infiltrate this market? Well, first we're going to have our insurance underwriters, Dan and Josh. This is where you come in. I want you to write new, new policies for home insurance so that we cover the risks such as fire, like I said, fire, burglary, mold damage, even floods, so we can cover all those risks associated with understanding and having new customers in the home insurance fund. Second, this is Mary, this is where you come in. I want you to inform our future customers about our exciting new products. And a good way to do this is through social networking, such as LinkedIn, Facebook, even Twitter um, are all very popular to understand and get our product out there. But if your market analysis and your customer analysis determine that the best way to um, under, get our, inform our future customers um, by using radio or television or newspaper, then by all means get our product out there. And lastly, I want you to find our customers. So Mark, this is where you come in. I want your sales team to come up, your sales team and your sales group to come up with a sales policy um, for our mortgage brokers and our insurance brokers along with our agents so that um, when our agents go to these um, new customers, they can appeal to their emotion, our customers' emotional side through asking such as, um, what would happen? Would you be financially better off if a fire happened? What about those memories that you would lose? That's why you should insure with us and buy our products. So next, next I'm going to talk about how does this relate to you. How does this relate to you? First, through financial incentives. Um, as many of you are, along with me, we are compensated through stock. And I checked today, Great American stock is down 17%. This really hurts our retirement and also hurts our benefits today. So if we can get those sales back up through the home insurance market, then our stocks will go back up, which will create better financials for us, and also make us much happier. 
Second, I also want to um, get a 10% 10 10 increase in the sales commission for your team, Mark, so that our, your team will be even more motivated to sell, sell, sell. And lastly is pride. I want you to have pride in this company. I want you to say, you know, I help Great American. I had a personal stake in this company. So that when uh, we are putting an article in Bloomberg Magazine because we had the best sales of the quarter through this new plan that we have, you, I want you to say, I was personally responsible for getting Great American back on track. So let's recap. First, I talked about why we need to change. Because sales are down and the profit margins are higher in the home insurance market. I, secondly, I talked about how we're going to infiltrate this market. I gave you the steps of writing new policies, informing our customers about our products, and finding our customers through like the social networking sites. And last, I talked about how this move is important through financial incentives and also having pride in your company. So last, and last note I want to talk about is I'm going to bring up China. I showed you those three institutions I talked about earlier in this presentation, but you know what? I want to be like China. In 1975, Dao Xiaoping changed his economy from one of socialism to a market economy, which increased his exports, which increased his income for his whole country, and as you can see now, it's much better off. I want this company to be much better off, just like China. Thank you all for talking.